Hi, I'm Minister Ralph Friedrichs. Making a difference is my belief. Here's my challenge to everyone. I just want to challenge everyone, a challenge I'm also trying to live out. No matter how busy you are, there is always something you can do to brighten someone's day. Give someone a hug. Send a text with an inspiring quote. Friends, mail a heartfelt card. Tell someone how much you appreciate him or her. If we look, each day presents us with opportunities to share kindness throughout the world. My core belief that we are called to not only love God and love people, but to carry out the Great Commission and share the eternal message of Jesus Christ. My goal is to help you reimagine your life and let go of the thoughts and behaviors that undermine you so that a renewed and fulfilled you can emerge starting today. We must love one another as God loves each and every one of us. To be able to love, we, my friends, need a clean heart. Prayer is what gives us a clean heart. The fruit of prayer is deepening of faith and the fruit of faith is love. I hope each and every one of you remember to show compassion and have a a great life ahead of you with Jesus Christ. Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an author and addiction recovery coach minister life coach and the host of this show to take your life back today radio show you can see a video version of this if you go to youtube under channel take your life back today show i want to talk about opiate deaths america's other fatal health crisis hasn't gone away we are going through a major pandemic right now but we can't forget the opiates solutions that can curb the nation's opiate epidemic are out there yet people are still dying all around us the u.s Coronavirus death toll surpassed 273,000 about a month or two ago. And while several pharmaceutical companies are working swiftly to develop a vaccine, none is available. But now there is, because I wrote this a while ago. Now in the shadow of COVID-19, opiate misuse is another long-term health crisis that has killed over 450,000 people in the country since 2020. And it continues to rage. Unlike with COVID-19, there are interventions available for opiate use disorder, but for too many, they are simply not available. The problem is everywhere. The World Health Organization estimates that approximately 115,000 deaths around the globe in 2019 were attributed to opiate drug use. In 2020, opiates killed about 50-something thousand, more than the number killed by firearms. Compounding the problem is the uh, manufacturing fentanyl that has become um, the uh, choice of uh, drug of choice for many people right now. Folks, just Ohio, with one of the nation's highest opiate death rates, they lost 11 people each day to drug overdoses throughout the state. California lost nearly uh, 15 people to, uh, per day to drug overdose. Final data is likely to show the fatal overdoses have increased dramatically in many communities during the COVID-19 pandemic. In Cook County, Illinois, for example, opiate overdose fatalities were up 28% from uh, January and uh, compared to the same time last year, that's from 605 to 773 deaths. In Maryland, drug and alcohol deaths were up 9.1% from January, with opiates tied to nearly all of the more than 1,300 deaths. Overall, more than 40 states have reported increases in opiate-related deaths in recent months, according to a brief from the American Medical Association. There are several reasons for these jumps, including increased depression and anxiety tied to this pandemic. Disruptions in drug supply, the end of in-person face-to-face prevention and treatment services due to COVID-19 precautions, and uh, unplanned stops that starts in drug usage and isolation. My friends, each week I read uh, so many cases uh, and and reports about opiate-involved fatalities. These cases are all unique in the despair they reflect, but they also share features that suggest they could have been prevented. A typical case involves someone who has struggled with substance abuse uh, for an extended period of time. Then there is a shocking discovery by a loved one, often in in home they share, who will later recall uh, the secretive behavior of this person, being unaware of what uh, what 
the victim was going through and the sense of missed opportunity for them to help. Many may think that overdoses typically only claim the young or people on the wild path of self-destruction. But more often than not, the cases that I have heard of uh, are middle-aged parents with grown children, people who are married, people who have young children, even grandparents. At first, I thought uh, what many people think, it's a shame, but they did this to themselves. Then, in the years of studies, I have learned about addiction and studied the lives people led. They are people injured at work who became addicted to opiates, eventually losing their jobs, homes, and family. They are adults who became addicted after being prescribed painkillers for injuries sustained in car accident as maybe uh, when they were younger. We must fight this deadly issue so very hard. Friends, text me or email me with your comments about this. And I want to emphasize again, I wrote this um, about the um, about the vaccine uh, where I had said that it wasn't available. It is available. Many people have gotten their first shots already. Call me, 844-405-HELP. Together, you and I, we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. And remember, simple smile to anyone can change that person's day, can change their life. It can make a difference in your life. Help fight this, this deadly disease uh, addiction. Turn to God. Ask God for guidance and direction. May God bless you and we'll talk to you later.